Welcome to a brand new season of Timmy in Shangalar. We're about to start with season two. I'm so looking forward to this. Let's start the launcher. There we go. With the sounds. Go into Shangalar. And for uh, season two, I'm going to play with green. Timmy is going green. Um, and I'm going green for obvious reasons because Crawworm is too cool not to play. And because I want to challenge myself, you know, if you go blue, you end up playing with the time walks, ancestral recalls, abuse that stuff like I did in season one. I don't want to go there again. If you go black, you've got contract from below, which is insanely powerful, right? It's, it feels like cheating, that card. Um, when you go white, you've got... It's, it just, it's the, the boring answers. We're not going to go there. Um, red, red is good. I'm going to use red as my support color. I think... I need a little bit of support, um, but I'm mainly going to play green. Probably going to try to go to for a mono green build as fast as I can. Um, and I think green is going to be a real challenge. I think at the start of the game, green will be really good. But then as the, the campaign continues, um, it will become harder and harder for me to just cope with green. Now, I am not going to play with the other three colors. Scouts, Honor, so just using red as my support color. I'm probably going to try to ditch that as well as fast as I can. Really going to go mono green. That's, you know, that's my end game, basically. Um, before I jump in, before I start this new campaign, you know, oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, first, a message from our sponsor, because I'm very happy to announce that uh, Season 2 is being sponsored by our friends from 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and now we're gonna jump in. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Start new game. Of course, the highest level, wizard. Of course, and then we're gonna go. Green, you like nature? Green magic can bring both soothing serenity and thunderous destruction, yes. Yeah, baby. Uh, okay, what does a green mage look like? I don't know. Let's, uh, I guess we should wear kind of a greenish color. Although this is more blue, isn't it? Anyway, we're just going to go for this. Um, carrying some kind of symbol. Why not? These options, they're so hilarious. Eye patch. We're just going to go for none. Gloves. Do we want to wear gloves? Green gloves for show. Let's go like this. This looks very greeny. Um, I like this gold. It's kind of fancy. You don't even see the hair. I mean, you don't. Let's go for red hair. You know, just I don't know why. Um, variations. Oh, you've got other ways. You've got wizard, but you've got other options too. Wait a minute. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I forgot all about this. I think the first run, I only changed, you know, the first picture that we saw. Uh, which one looks the most, like, greeny? Um, I've ne I, I swear I've never seen this Indian. I can't remember this Indian. Um... You know, I think this dude looks looks kind of like this this person, or this one is quite nice as well. Let's see. Wow, it looks kind of uh, kind of special. Let's let's bring a rat to the party. Why not? What are the things he can hold? What's this? What what is this? What am I looking at? Maybe an egg? Should we just let him carry an egg? Why not? No, I like the rat. I like the idea of the rat for some reason. Um, you know, I could I could do this for quite a long time, but um, I really just want to play the game. So, <laughs> leopard says, <laughs> uh, who was in charge of this? This is so funny. 
Uh, okay. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go with this leopard skin. I think it's good. Um, okay. So, safe or not? Okay, I guess. Oh, wait. This, I did this wrong in the first ever game episode as well. Anyway, we're going to leave. Enter your name. Okay. Timmy the Green. Yeah, that's going to be my name. Timmy the Green. Enter. Chandler materializing. Exciting stuff. Here we are. It's quite loud, so I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit. Let's have a look at our deck, shall we? What did we get? Okay, 10 forests. That's good. We've got 46 cards, so I can shave off six. I'm actually going to dump the blue first. And why? Because I only have two blue cards. Ooh, two hill giants. So, but I'm going to go for red as my support color, so I'm not going to shave those. COP green can go. Hmm. I've got no... Wait a minute, I've got no swamps. There's no way I can play these cards. Oh lord, okay. Um, okay, let me think. 10 food for 15 gold. Hmm. I should buy this fireball. I should buy the forest. I'm not going to sell any cards here because I'm going to wait for another village where they pay more. Um, I'm going to put the fireball in. I'm going to put the forest in. 39. That's not too bad. 39 cards. Wait, a quest. He wants to give me a mana link. Go to the Keeper of Croc Hole. He will give you a mana link. Sure, man. Where's Croc Hole? Croc Hole. Okay, here we go, boys. Ha <laughs> Let's go to the hold. Oh, no. I actually don't want to fight yet, but we're gonna. Colossus of Sardia at stake. Play first. Start the duel. Uh, forest, mountain, forest. I've got hill giant in hand. Colossus of Sardia, so apparently I've got two in my deck. Fireball and an Onulet. Okay, gonna start with the forest and pass the turn. I probably should have taken more time to look at my deck, but yeah. At least I've got mana, which is good. Um, in a few turns I can cast Onulet and Hill, Hill Giant, so that's pretty good. Oh, Onulet's three, not four. Okay, that's good. Card from Antiquities. <laughs> I'm gonna go Forest and I'm gonna cast Onulet. Yeah, man, we got Onulet on the board. I'm feeling good. Pearl Unicorn, we cannot cast, but we can cast the Hill Giant and I've got that Fireball. This is actually for like your, your starting deck. It's not too bad. Drop it to 12. I can attack him for 5 next turn. Put him on 7. I mean, he's in trouble. Hmm, this is, this is taking dangerously long. Ooh, an often troll. Oi, oi, oi. He also has that oasis. Hmm, that's kind of tricky. The oasis means I cannot really attack. Well, what I should do, actually, do a fireball. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a fireball for two. On the troll, because he can now not regenerate. So. Oh no, he's got the... I said he has the oasis, then I forget about... Okay, so I wanted to make no mistakes um, this time around with Chandelar. And I think we're, how long in? What, two minutes in? <laughs> we, I already failed. So bad at this game. Anyway, 
Bring it on, man. I deserve I deserve the punishment. I got Titania Song in the deck. That's actually kind of cool. I got kind of like a theme going. Uh, should I have attacked? Why not? Whatever. I'm on six. I feel good. I'm strong. Oh, man. Doubled the Brute. I'm on six. He can put me on two. Oh, no. Another Brute. He can put me on one. Please don't have... No! 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 What's he doing? He's casting it on himself? Okay. I thought it was Toast, literally, with the Bolt, but... Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack with both. This is kind of like a free ticket here, because I should have lost this one, so... Hey, yeah, I'm going to take the cards, man. Those cards... Stone Yard's pretty useful. Red Elemental, that strip mine's good. Hey, I got six lives for the next duel. Dead food for 20 gold, so it's expensive, so I can sell stuff. La 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 la. The music is so hilarious. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna think too much. I'm just gonna sell this stuff. Okay. Uh, green, red, stone giant, red elemental blast. We're gonna take out some. I wanna just take out all the white. Sell all the white. Did you see that 270 for the uh, COP for artifacts is good? Sandstorm carnivores plants good. Uh, ooh, Fisher is really useful. I like it. I only have four mountains though. That's why do I need a blue spell? Did I make a mistake again? Did I take on a mission without thinking? Pay the gold. Staff of Thunder. But now I need a blue spell. How am I going to find a blue spell? Ooh, lightning bolt. It's really good. Forest. Do I want a leech? Yes, no. Tranquility could be useful. Hmm. Hey man, this is a good start. I'm getting all these. The problem is that I need a blue creature spell. Where am I gonna find a blue creature spell? If you combine Dwarven Warriors with Marsh Viper. Oh wow, I can Marsh attack with the Viper and get some poison counters. That's cool. I could actually build that deck. That is funny. Uh, let's put this in, let's put this in, let's put this in, let's put this in. Mm, stick out my red elemental blast. Um, let's see, 2720. I need to take out some lands. Islands. Islands are gone. I can't believe that I'm already in this position that I don't want to be in, which is I need a blue creature or else I'm going to fail the mission. How am I going to find a blue creature here? Oh, man. Speak to the wise man. The secret deck of any red creature. Um, I, Goblin Lord? I don't really mind. I mean... This is interesting information, not really. Um, find a mountain, actually useful. I'm not going to buy anything at the moment because I really need a blue spell. So I can't even see what I'm getting, I'm just hearing a noise. These are really good cards, but I need... Wait a minute, what is... Find a blue creature spell. Why did I... A 
Why did I sell that Sephir Falcon? Why? Why am I such an idiot? Okay, here's some water, right? A swampy thing? Maybe there's some blue here. Let's let's walk here, see if we can find... Oh, there's a ship. Okay, give me a blue creature, please. Aladdin's ring, really cool, but... Oh, unstable mutation. I need something blue, man. I've got four days. This game is stressful. Which card do you seek? Oh, and I can trade it for amulets. Okay, so I need a blue creature. I want a, a, a cheap creature. Um, two amulets for this dude? That's funny. Um, I like it. <laughs> it's a cool card. Um, Devouring Deep. Devouring Deep, that's gotta be cheap. Yeah, it's one. Okay, yes, I'll trade. Done. Now we're going to go back to where we have to go. Let's see. Um, I'm here. We got to go to the Krog Hold, right? Any enchantments take to any enchantments take card to Krog Hold. Okay. Oh man, this is a stressful first episode for me, man. I mean, geez, almost losing that first game, selling my creature. Hey, another mountain. I'm happy with that. Let's see. Where are we? Oh, we need to Krog Hold. Hey, we're getting there. On my way, another mountain. I love this. They keep giving me mountains. I'm happy with that. Another mountain. Hey, another mountain. Another mountain. You happen upon a. For one white amulet, I will reveal the deck of any red creature. Never mind. Oh, I got a jewel of swords, but I can win the dwarven warriors. Okay, this is what I'm gonna build. Dwarven warriors. Lots of green little creatures. Gonna do it. That's gonna be one of the decks. Ooh, he's transforming into this other dude. Okay. Whatever, man. I'm fine. I'm open-minded. Go for it, you know. <laughs> so good. Eight starting life. That's low. Ooh, I got a bolt and a war mammoth. I'm happy. It's gonna start with forest. I think I can already build a decent mana base. I just first want to, you know, finish my mission and then I'm just going to look at the cards again. If of, if of course the computer doesn't crash, it's always a bit of a risk. Uh, okay, let's go mountain. I'm not going to bolt the, the balloon brigade, dude. I'm not going to do it. It's fine, one damage a pop. Ooh, okay, this is this is another story. Let's go bolt. Let's bolt him! Haha, <laughs> do you lose your enchant creature? You fool! Great, another how many of these colossuses do I play? I'm really gonna after I'm gonna do the mission, then check out my deck. That's that's the order. First beat this dude, then check my deck. What's in my deck? It feels like it's full of Colossus of Sardias. There's a brass man. Forest. Wool mammoth. 3-3 three, three trampler. Yeah! No, dude! Okay, fair enough. Fair. I bolted one of yours, you bolt one of mine. Now we're even, okay? Stop the bolting. Gonna play Stone Giant next turn. Wow, immolation. That's actually pretty cool. Immolation on a brass man. I respect that stuff. Um, why didn't I play out a second red? Why? Okay, I'm gonna, from now on, from this point forward, no more mistakes, okay? At least I can still cast my wall of ice or else I would have been dead. Yeah, sure, untap your brass, man. I've got my wall of ice, man, to stop you. I'm fine. Please don't bolt me. Please don't bolt me. Alibaba! Oh, <laughs> I can tap my wall! Oh god! 
Why did he tap two for that? Oh, because he untapped the brass man, so he didn't have enough mana to also tap the wall. Oh man. I am I am so lucky, but this is so funny. Like Alibaba actually being relevant. It's one of the reasons why I love this game. Because I remember back in the day when we were basically like buying our starter decks and just playing whatever was in the decks, that um, you know, cross like this would be relevant. Obviously, you know, soon after you start building your deck, but yeah. You had games where cards like Alibaba would be relevant, which is cool. Oh, I love this game. Anyway, you can tap down. Oh man, more. Stop casting creatures, please. Let's play the clay statue. The longer this game takes, the worse it is for me, because he's bound. I got kind of a combo here, right? Stone Giant with clay statue. Let's see, target creature you control with toughness less than Stone Giant's power. Oh yeah, so Stone Giant's it's not strong enough to throw the statue. It's too bad. But the longer this game takes, the bigger the chance that he's going to find some direct damage or a flying creature and he's just going to kill me. Oh, I'm already dead? Really? I'm just gonna block. Maybe he does something weird. Who knows? Yeah. I lost my strip mine. It was nice while it lasted. Okay, I'm almost at crack hole, so I just gotta go down. My cards? Ooh, Mana Clash. Mana... I wanna play Mana Clash. Mana Clash is cool. Okay, let's, let's fix the mana base a little. Um, let's see. Let's sell this. Okay, so I've got 18 in total. 18 is good. Let's say 10 of these, 8 of these, right? Um, Colossus. Let's play with one Colossus. Red, so I've got Disintegrate now. Mana Clash, I just want to play. It's too cool not to play. Green, I've got Tranquility. I could play one Tranquility. I don't have any. Titania's Song makes no sense in here. I'm on 40 cards. I'm happy. Um, oh, yeah. I've got everything. Speak to the wise man. To assist you, I shall tell you the secrets of a dungeon. Okay. Altar of the Cyclops. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. So we got to go to Croc Hold. Let's venture to the hold. Another mountain? Ooh, I can win a soaring? This is really cool because when you encounter these moments here, uh, you know, in this case, the Beastmaster, Spectre, whatever, guarding the horde, um, if I lose, I don't lose a card because I'm not playing for anti. So there's a pretty big chance I'm going to lose, but hey, if I win, I get a soaring. If I lose, I lose nothing. An asp. I'm going to disintegrate the asp. I just don't, I don't want to get into a situation where I constantly have to pay one for the poison thing of the asp, lose an extra life. I mean, remember, I'm on 10 at the moment, right? I got to make sure that I just can avoid damage at the start. Okay, next turn I can play my War Mana, 3-3 three, three Trampler. War Mammoth, yeah, War Mammoth. Why would you play Arena if you can play this, right? The Jaguar, it hunts for giants. Okay, that is not great, but I don't have a giant. I've got a mammoth. Deal with the mammoth. Oh, mammoth. Mammoth stamps. Oh, no. I shouldn't have been so cocky. This is what happens. i got to take the damage here. Oh, man. Oh, this is painful. Oh. 
Okay, I gotta think right now. So I could jump, right? But then, I mean, I just gotta hope I'm gonna attack. And I'm, I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't have any other pump effects. If he does, I die. If he doesn't, then I got another turn. Okay, so good. No giant growth, so I'm on two. So I've got one more turn. I can jump with the mammoth. I have another turn, so two turns. That's not too bad. Okay, make that one turn. Ooh, Fisher, that is really good. Aha, <laughs> Fisher. Okay, I'm gonna pass, because maybe he's gonna have, you know, put something on his Jaguar, who knows? There's the attack. Choose blockers, okay, I'm gonna block this dude. Any fast effects, of course. Now I've got another turn, just bought myself some time. All I now need is some kind of removal spell for the boars. And I need, okay, I need to get rid of all these creatures. Dang it. I can't even cast my ring. Two, four, seven mana. Oh, man. Yeah, ring is expensive. The bling is expensive, man. Living the fancy life. <laughs> Almost at Crockhold. Is there anything here for me to buy? No. I don't want to battle you dudes. Oh God. I just want to go to Crackhold. Let's duel the sorcerer and get this over with. So far I've won one game. I lost two. They're kicking my ass and I need to get to Crockhold. Okay, two mountains, a disintegrate, carnivores planned, winds of change, oh, that's great, yeah, sure, man. Okay, at least I got enough things here. Oh, I have a marsh, I didn't even know that, okay. Colossus, carnivores plant. okay. Forest, fast turn, hopefully he's not gonna do anything in the next four turns and I can then play my marsh viper. Can we, okay, sure, I don't mind. It's one shit hand for another, so I'm fine. Fine. Mountain, grape shot, cat. Actually, this is not too bad. I need to find some Lana Elves. So next turn I can cast Wall of Ice. Right, because grape shot is four? Yeah, four. Four mana. <laughs> That's really a bad card. That's really a bad card. It's kind of cool when you play multiple in a deck and you start shooting like dragon whelps from the sky, then it's quite cool, but yeah, usually it doesn't get uh, to that point. Okay, Wall of Ice. Oh, I got Mana Clash. Oh, I'm going to play Mana Clash next turn. That's going to be fun. It's bad for me because I'm, I'm on a lower life total, but whatever. Maybe I should do it then. Okay, first going to play another creature. Try to get him a bit lower, at least also on 10. Then I'm going to play Mana Clash. Mana Clash is cool. It's a potential turn one win. You just have to be lucky. Man, that Balloon Brigade can... Oh, wait, I can kill the Balloon Brigade with the Catapult. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> if you give it flying... I mean, come on, man, stop bolting my stuff. You did that in the other match also. Not cool. Not cool. Yeah, the sorcerer dude is no amateur. Knows what to do. Flies over my wall of ice, my mighty wall. There's like a goblin flying over me. Oh, again the Alibaba dude. Mm. I'm going Dirkwood Boars. I'm going Dirkwood Boars on you, man. Yeah, you tap my wall, but I've got Dirk the four four. Got a four four man. I'm always a bit scared when the game's thinking this long. I really don't want it to crash. Okay. Oh, what a move. Did you see that? What a move. So he, he played Immolation to make the toughness like two, and then he played a bolt. Man, this guy's good. Uh, War Mammoth? Okay. 
I mean, this guy is good also that he's tapping my wall in my end step. Like, I'm really impressed with the AI. Yes, sometimes they do stupid stuff, but they also do a lot of, like, cool stuff. Uh, okay, I'm going to play Onulet. I'm going to attack. And don't worry, I'm still going to play Mana Clash. Don't worry. I'm just waiting for the right moment. Maybe that's next turn already. You know, I don't want to... That Goblin Balloon Brigade is killing me. Maybe I shouldn't play Mana Clash. Oh, Lightning Bolt. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Okay, I'm going to play Mana Clash before I change my mind. Done. Done. Your flip. Your opponent's flip. Then it's done? Wait, let's read Mana Clash again. You and target opponent each flip a coin. Mana Clash deals one damage to each player whose coin comes up tails. Repeat this process until both players' coins come up heads at the same time. And that happened. This way. Don't worry, I'm going to keep it in the deck. We're going to use it plenty of time. Um, Lightning Bolt. Viper. And now we're going to attack. Let's do it. Boom, he's on six. I'm on five. I'm feeling good. Next turn, I'm going to attack with Marsh Viper as well. Or the Onulet or both, whatever. That was a disappointing Mana Clash. Okay. Let's attack with Onulet. Ooh, he's blocking on all three. I'm actually not bummed about this. I, I, I'll take this trade any day of the week. This is great. Got a Fisher in hand if he casts anything big. I just have to hope that he doesn't play any like direct damage and burns me out. I mean, I'm on five. I could in response, of course, Fisher my Onulet to gain some life. Onulet is how much life? Two life. Okay. I always liked Onulet. Okay. Let's attack. I still cannot cast a Colossus. Two, four, six, seven mana. Wow, I'm like two, two lands away still. When I was looking at the mana, I'm like, okay, I gotta be close to nine, but like only seven. That's not great. That is not great. And I'm close to winning. There's a brigade. Should I destroy? I think I should. Should have done it on this end step, obviously, but whatever. Uh, I can kill him now. <clears throat> hey, we're winning. Of course, I take take the cards. Take the cards. Crack hold, right? Crack hold. Not crack hold. Are you kidding me? I gotta go all the way down? Two days? Oh no, this is really bad. Can we... Okay, I'll duel you, Druid. I thought I had to go to a hold. I have to go to a hold. Crack hold. This game, man. Okay, what do I have? Forests, Carnivorous Plan, Dirkwood Boars, Wall of Ice, and more forests. Actually, this is not too bad of a hand. <clears throat> okay, this sucks. The Dryads is not great. I mean, you gotta play Forest out, but I'm on a 10 turn clock now. Great. That's awesome. This game, man. This game. I got two days. I don't have time for this. Fun fact, by the way, somebody told me in the comments, because I'm learning a lot, you know, from the first season, um, that while you're in battle, uh, the day and nights 
it's kind of stops, it stands still. So you don't have to worry about the time um, you waste or waste the time you're playing battles. But now it's got two dryads. What's better than one dryad? Two dryads. Okay, wall of ice that does nothing. I have to say, so far my wall of ice has been quite disappointed, uh, disappointing. You had Goblin Balloon Brigade flying over the wall. You had Alibaba tapping the wall, and now it's got Shannon and Dryads sneaking past the wall. I mean, the wall is useless. I'm on five. Let's play another. Let's play another useless wall. Like I know clay statue is better, but I like the idea of just having two walls and the Dryads are like sneaking past it. Like I don't even see them because they look like walking trees. The OG art of, of the Dryads is a walking tree. I'm on three, I'm on like a two turn clock now. Great, awesome. If I can draw my fireball, I could actually kill both. <clears throat> Dirkwood boars, the boars. Oh, then he can gain a life, untap the land, gain a life, a wooden sphere. That's a missed, did he do that? Or was it a missed opportunity? I also like Lay Druid, by the way, with uh, Oasis. Lay Druid is really a card that you can just you know, combine a lot with. It's really cool when you've got Library of Alexandria and a Lay Druid together. But also Maze Lay. Oh yeah, Killer Beast, sure. Okay, my only way of victory now is a Mana Clash. That's my only, that's, I can, in theory, I can win it now on my Mana Clash. So let's go. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, we got a snake. Wait, is it now killing me? Because I had the snake? Monoclash repeating since the tails came up. Oh, okay, we're repeating. I'm not dead yet. It can still be a draw. Hey, Monoclash is going to repeat. Hey, we're going to repeat again. What did you do this Sunday? Well, I, I cast a Mana Clash and that's it. I cast a Mana Clash and before I knew it, it was midnight. Is all the damage coming to me now? It was coming up Tails. Okay, because I had Tails three times. Uh-oh. Three. Look at that. Four damage to me. I'm dead. Whatever, man. I lose this in the grade. Can we stop? Please stop attacking me. I know it's part of the game, but... Oh, God. I've got zero food. I need to get food. This could, this could potentially be the worst, like, start first whatever episode ever of, of a Chandelar series. Let's see, what I haven't had? Colossus, Clockwork Beast. Okay, they're both like 20 mana. Lightning Bolt, I can do something with that. Forests and Mountains, okay. God. <clears throat> I should have played a mountain, by the way, having that bolt open. Whatever. This is so bad. Let's go mountain. I don't really want to play Bolt on the Banalish. I want to wait for my opponent to like cast some enchant creatures on it. Or, or play something better, like a White Knight. What's nice about the Banalish here, by the way, she has a little... Oh, there we go, White Knight. What I want to say, she has a little ponytail here at the back. So she actually has long hair. For the longest time, I thought she had short hair. A little, little fun fact. Uh, mountain? So next turn, I can play a blocker. Yay! It's a pretty badass art on that hill giant. That's a strong dude. I always felt that hill giant should have had maybe reach because he's a giant. You know, something like that.
I mean, then again, giants don't really look up that often. They're not that interested in, in what's up there. They're more interested in what's down below. Rainbow Knight. Okay, so Rainbow Knight. What did they do? When Rainbow Knight comes to play, it gets protected from a random color. First strike, and you can pump it. You can give it plus zero, plus zero. That is so funny. Oh, it's at random. <laughs> that is cool. I knew that, actually, but I'm, like, rediscovering it as I'm reading it. That is funny. Uh, okay, we're going to play Hail Giant. Okay, so he can give it first strike, pump it, and then give it a random ability, and then it could kill my Hail Giant. That is funny. Or, of course, he could just sorts my Hail Giant, which is super boring, but whatever, man. Whatever, man. This aggression will not stand, man. I'm on 11. I'm going to take 3, 8... Everything in my hand is like a billion mana to cast. I went to crack hold instead of crack hole. Oh yeah, sure, no, yeah, protection from red. Rainbow Knights, really? I love the name, by the way, Rainbow Knights. That's also funny. I think Rainbow Knights should be in a deck with like shapeshifters. That'd be really cool. And double gangers. Choose blockers. Okay, well, let's uh, block this Rainbow Knight. Gain first strike, sure. Then you're gonna pump it. Check out that sound effect, that's pretty cool. Add a random power, I love it. Your powers are increased by zero. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. Okay, but I'm still alive. I can play Clockwork Beast, which is huge. I'm going to do that. 7-4, baby! I love it. I love it. I'm just going to keep my catapult. I'm blocking duty. I'm feeling good. I'm playing against Mono White, so no direct damage. Add a random power. Ooh, it's a 4-1. Gain first strike. Oh, this is bad. This is This is bad. Oh, and I have to block it. I guess I'm going to block it with the catapult, dude. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, you know what? I'm going to swing in. Whatever, man. I mean, this, this, it's made for attacking. Exactly. He took the damage. You know what? I'm going to take the damage. I'm not going to block. Whatever, man. Oh, I still cannot cast Colossus. That is so annoying. Okay, so I'm a little bit at a crossroad here. I'm on two. I cannot attack with both. I'm going to attack with one. I'm going to put him on. I'm going to put him on one. Okay, block. Sure. That's Actually, that's fine. I'm going to jump with Hill Giant regardless. Of, of, of the pump, because I have to. I'm gonna block. Okay, I got a Bors. I'm liking this. I'm gonna play the Bors. Gonna attack with the beast. I'm still in it. We're both on two. This is a pretty cool game, actually. I'm both on two. I mean, he's got the Rainbow Knights. I'm not underestimating the Rainbow Knights. I've got a lot of respect for the Rainbow Knights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody knows that. Everybody Everybody who knows me knows I got tons of respect for the Rainbow Knights. This is a bit of an issue because he's got now a banner. Hmm. Oh, I can play Colossus. That's so cool. Um... What is wisdom? If I attack, he actually has to block. So I'm going to attack. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he's losing the banner. I'm not unhappy with that. A crusade. Okay. Whatever, man. Whatever. It's a good card, but what, you know, whatever. It's plus one, plus one to your creature. 
Oh man, this is not this is not good. Um, but I ooh fireball as well. I'm gonna first attack with my Colossus. And with my Darkwood, why not? I'm gonna fire him out anyway. Oh, waiting it down the Colossus. That's style points, isn't it? That is. That is. Okay, and I get a land tax and a castle, but I don't really need these. I'm gonna take them to sell them. Take them to sell them. Two days left. Where am I? Crock hole. No, I'm not gonna buy Wall of Ice. I could buy this one. Okay, speak to the wise man. If you seek the blue amulet, Love this. There's so many glitches in my version. Crack hole, so I gotta go down. Let's go downstairs to crack hole, everybody. I wish, I wish they would leave. I know it's part of the game that they keep attacking you, but I just want to go to crack hole. That's all I want to do. Anyway, um, forest, Dirkwood Wars, mountain, forest, carnivorous plant, forest, clay statue. The good thing about this hand is I've got at least a four drop, which is in my deck pretty quick. Um, and I've got enough lands. So it, it could be worse, you know, life life could be worse. There's a silver lining. Of course, another Dryads. Why is everybody in this game playing the Dryads? This is not good. Oh yeah, no, of course. Sure, always. When you attack with the dry, it's always giant growth. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, I'm on five. I'm like dying again. What else? What else is new? Oh yeah, sure, yeah, flower killer bees, no problem. I gotta play clay statue because at least I can attack with the statue. You know, maybe you never know. Maybe maybe the computer's gonna do something stupid and 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 you know, sure. Look at that. Um, I have to block. I gotta make the trade. He's not pumping the B, so I should be happy. Ooh, I think I gotta play the boars. I'm de I'm dead. I I'm just so dead. I am so dead. Um. I'm dead. Okay. Take my viper, you evil, evil woman. Hey, I made it to Crock Hole! Hey, made it to Crock Hole! Made it to Crock Hole! Ah, <sighs> finally. Crock Hole. Crock Hole, the best spots in all of Shandala. Giant Spider, I think Giant Spider is good. Um, let's check out my deck. I need to improve my deck. Turn the sound down a little bit. I mean, I understand Croc Hole is happy with me, but you know what? Let's sell it. Sell it! Red cards. We have a Sister of the Flame. We don't really need it. Okay, we've got Giant Spider. I feel like I need Spider. Um, what shall we take out? Aladdin's Ring. Can we do that? I actually have 39 cards. Okay, I thought I had more than enough cards. Okay. Let's check out our artifacts. Ooh, we got a lot of artifacts. Urza's Avenger, I can give flying. I like that. Battering Ram, I can kill wolves. I like that. Um, you know what? Let's just... You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to work up to... To a deck of 60 cards. That's what I'm going to do. 20 mana... We don't need that. Anyway. Like 
10 food. Let's do it. Cleric attacking Andorra spot. That's all the way there. Okay, well, let's go to the Andorra place. Who knows? Travel east. I'm not east. Oh, wait. Let's first go here. Ooh, treasure. <coughs> A plains. An island. A four spike. No artifact. Okay, ruins of Suchan. Ooh, I'd love to get a berserk. That would be so good in my deck. Let's check out the cards. Oh yeah, we just did. Hey, reward you with a mana. The keeper of Aloran Shrine. Okay, we'll go there. Hey, it's on route anyway. It's on route, it's no problem. Absolutely no biggie. Okay, we'll duel the seer. Let's duel the seer. All right, winning the toss. I love it. Play first. Okay, that hand looks really bad at first glance. Let's see. Clockwork Beast, a million mana. Ellen's Ring, a million mana. Bedring Ram, doable, turn two. Colossus Sardia, a million mana. Another Ellen's Ring. I need a mana flare. I should have traded some green amulets for mana flare earlier. Hmm. These are... Never mind. I'm not even going to finish that sentence because it was just a stupid comment. Anyway, Bettering Ram on board. A 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. That's awesome. Start attacking. Another island. Is it all that you can do? I hope that's all that you can do. Just pass the turn to me. It's fine. It's fine. Look at my, I mean, look at my hand. Everything is going to take 20 years to cast. But the good news is she didn't play anything else out, which is really great. So I'm going to put her on nine, pass the turn. I'm going to go to four mana next turn. You know, they're not already halfway to casting an Aladdin's ring. I'm just going to sit really still. Maybe she doesn't cast anything. Who knows? I really need to save the game, by the way. If it crashes now, that would be really bad news. Please don't crash. Please. I'm actually going to turn the... Hey, it didn't crash. Oh, it had to think a long time because it thought, shall I cast a falcon? Understandable. Let's play a mountain. You know what? I am going to attack. I'm going to offer you the trade. Sure, man. Now I'm going to cast my war mammoth. Yeah. Yeah, son. War mammoth. I need to make my deck 40 cards again. This is ridiculous. Why did I think it was a good idea to play with all these high casting cost spells? <sighs> I'm truly a Timmy. Truly a Timmy. An unsummon. Sure, man. I'm just going to recast a War Mammoth. I've got nothing better to do. Like, really. I got Wall of Ice, but I'd rather have War Mammoth. An unsummon. Okay, then I'm going to cast the Stone Giant. What goes up must come down. I like that flavor text. Really cool. Okay, we're first going to attack with the Stone Giant. Let's see what uh, what she does. Okay, takes them. Oh, I wanted to cast some. Me and that enter button. Me and that stupid enter button. I like click 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 click. Oh, a ghost ship. Okay, now now the trouble is really starting. Um, I'm gonna play the warm out. Mm, I'm gonna 
pastor. I mean, if she attacks for three, I can at least attack back on the crackback. Oh, this is bad. I'm stable. Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. I am so incredibly dead. I guess I guess I could have survived one more turn if I would have played Wall of Ice. Throw the Wall of Ice up into the air. Oh no, because the counter spell. Okay. Oh no, because the toughness is way too big. I couldn't do that. Okay, anyway. I wouldn't say I could have given the Wall of Ice flying to block the ship, but that wouldn't have worked because the toughness is way too big of Wall of Ice. I just keep getting my ass kicked. Which card do you seek? Oh, uh, for gold. Okay, uh, let me think. What do I seek? Lana or Elves, actually, to ramp up. That'd be quite nice. What's the price of a Lanor? 115? Okay, sure. Let's get a second one. Let's get a third one. We're done. And then we're just going to make a really good deck, people. Okay. Monolink, go west to Elrond Shrine. Okay, I'm almost there. Let's go, let's go back to our deck, because I feel like I'm just doing stupid stuff again. Let's go back. Let's sell this four spike. Uh, we're going to take this out. We're going to take you 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 out. Uh, you fly at least. That's something. Uh, we're going to take one plant out. We're going to take wall of ice out. I don't think it's good enough. I don't know. Okay, we've got this. We've got to put in the three Lanorels for sure. So we have another slot, another cart we can take out. Um, I guess I could take out my Dwarven Warriors because I don't really have a plan for it at the moment. Okay, oh, and let's save before anything goes wrong. Timmy goes green. Yep. Okay. Um, running low on money. Let's go to the ship. For one white amulet. No, man. White amulets are important. Okay. Yeah. You conquered your first little village. Congratulations. Hey, trade blue amulets for any lands. Ooh, but I don't think I've got enough for duel anyway, so maybe I just need to keep this open. Da, da. I actually think, oh, now I'm on zero money. I think being on zero money, being completely broke, is a nice ending for this first episode. Thank you so much for joining me once again uh, through my adventures of Chandelar. I just realized I still haven't found a crawl worm. So, um, yeah, next episode, I'm going to search for crawl worm for sure. Um, I also feel my deck is kind of decent already. I like it. I mean, I should take some mana out, actually, looking at it now. So I guess I could play with one Clockwork Beast and one ring. Why not? Um, anyway. This uh, was the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll uh, see you next week. Because then I'll venture into Chandelar again to get some more cool green cards. See you next time. Let's save it before I forget. Timmy goes green. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
to Sumba Kazik.